Hey guys, Kaiju Bros here, and today I'm going to be doing another toy review. Today's review is going to be on... Shin Godzilla. All three forms. So, anyways, let's get into the review, starting with history. So, what happens is... Uh, uh, Shin, Sh Shin Godzilla is, uh, is awoken by, by nuclear wa waste materials, and he feasts on them, and then he attacks Japan, which is not really that special, but, uh, he, he also ha uh, he first starts out as a little monster, with, but only his tail is shown, and then he turns into a bigger monster, which is Kamatakun, and then... After that, he turns into Shinagawa-kun over here, and then, and then, big Shin Godzilla right here, uh, and and the and then after that, after being struck struck by bombs, he he unleashes his atomic breath, and uh, he also has, can shoot out of his tail and his dorsal fins, and and, uh, and then after that, he gets fro he gets frozen. Is that the, 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 the Japanese Defense Force decides to freeze him, him, and not only that, but at the end, he, he spawns some little tail creatures right here. That's pretty much Shin Godzilla's history. Now on to the review. So let's start with detail. Now, detail on Kamatakun looks pretty nice. I mean, he's, he's big and long, has no fucking arms, but that's okay. And look at that big old tail. Look at that big old tail. Also, he looks kind of like, like a frilled shark, doesn't he? Oh! 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 Look at the side of my mouth! Oh! Yeah, he's silly. Now, on to Shinagawa Kun. He looks pretty nice. I mean, he's all red and shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah. And look at that tail, too. I mean, it looks pretty co cool, doesn't it? You see? And his footsies. And his eh face. Yeah. I like Shinigawa kun and Kamata kun. And of course. The big boy, Shin Godzilla. Now, before you ask, this isn't the original version of the Bandai Shin Godzilla. Well, this is actually the Universal Studios Japan exclusive version. But that's okay. I love his translucent some purple dorsal fins and the purple tip of his tail. And also, if you look closely at the tip of his tail, it kind of looks like it has a face on it. It's not really that noticeable, but that's okay. Now, also, look at that big head. Oh, now, the only disappointing thing about this figure is probably his hands. In the film, his hands are supposed to be facing up. But instead, they're just facing forward, like any other Godzilla. But that's okay. It's, it's, it's cool. Now, on to articulation. For kamata -kun, his legs can spin all the way around. And his tail is a glue seal. For Shinigaku, his legs can spin all the way around. And his knees can spin all the way around. And once again, the tail is a glue seal. Now on to Shin Godzilla. His arms can spin all the way around. And his legs can spin all the way around. You might have to move the arms out of the way in order for the legs to move. And once again, his, his tail is a glue seal. That's okay. Now on to size comparisons. Seeing how... I always have this gal in in a little in, in a lot of my videos. Here is Misato. Now uh, let me pan it up for a sec. 
Oh, shit. Let me just pan up for a sec. Now, as you can see, Misato is a massive figure. If you can see. Can you, can you see that? Uh, yes, you can, you can see it. Good. Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. But it's a little out of scale seeing how big, how small Shin Godzilla is compared to her. But uh, I'd say that that it works. Yeah. And finally, Rarity. These figures were released about a couple years ago, so they're not really that rare. Yeah. And uh, if you find them, pick them up. So, de detail history is good. Articul details good. Articulation's good. And size comparison is a little, eh, but I'm gonna go with it. And uh, maybe if you find them, pick them up. Yeah. So I give these figures a, a ten, a, a nine out of ten. And. I hope you enjoyed this review.